Hey, that's where it ends. I hit up Icebox for Nick and the Twin. Can't let the haters get up on it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chosen, man. And I'm back with another banger for y'all boys and girls, man. Hey, man. Say, man. It's your boy Chosen, man. We back with another video, man. I told y'all, man, we trying to get as many videos that we uh, out as we can, man. I'm trying to pump out as many videos as I can for y'all, man. But, hey, man, this is Nardo, the story of Nardo Week. Uh, we finna get straight into this. This kind of like a long video. It's like 15 minutes long or something. So we finna hop straight into this, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's see what this hitting on. The Nardo Week story, man. Let's get into it. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? They used to call me Nard. I'm Lil Nard. Cause my daddy been Nard. And then just Nardo. Cause it's more like a rapper name. And then Wick, short for Wicked. I've been doing the bad shit though, and I was like, shit, young. Yeah, why do you think we hear about so much of in Jacksonville, bro? Yeah, that, that shit like, down there like a wall down there. Right no, the Wii Fire Force, too. Jumped out the cart like it was two back truck, I mean, two cars back to back. And they started shooting. Damn. Squat don't hop down hey, on the squad. What's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know we all got dreams and something we want to achieve. Some of us make it and some of us give up. But shit. Nardo Wick, he's one of the ones that made it. But his story is special because to make it where he made it from takes guts, dedication, and at times a lifestyle that could cost him his life and his freedom. Sounds like a repeating theme of rappers, I know. But that's the path that they walked to gain stardom. Nardo Wick beat the odds, but those are odds that are coming back to reclaim his fame as karma for his dirt in the streets. So without further ado, let's chop it up and break it down. Coming up in the south side of Jacksonville, Florida, Horace Bernard Walls III, also known as Nardo Wick, was born into a family that weren't any strangers to the criminal elements. In fact, that cost him dearly when his mom's a bona fide hustler and go-getter got caught on fraud charges and was sentenced to five years behind bars when he was just around eight years old. Now, your Damn. mother did go to prison. Was it state prison or federal? State. And how much time did she end up doing? Five years. From then, Nardo and his pops was holding it down. That's actually part of why he chose the name for his rap career. He was called Little Nard because his pops was known as Nard, so he flipped it to Nardo, and the Wick is short for Wicked because that's what Nardo says he's always been. Nardo, like, they used to call me Nard. I'm Little Nard, cause my daddy been Nard. And then just Nardo, cause it's more like a rapper name, and then Wick, short for Wicked. His pops was dealing to keep them afloat, but when his moms got back home is when things started to take a turn for the worse. In his Say Cheese interview, Nardo says at 13, his moms came home and a few months later he went to live with her instead of his pops, but it was rough because she lost everything when she was locked up. Got out with 13. Mm. Yeah. And then that's when shit like started going like down. When she got out like... Okay. Cause she ain't had shit like she can't hold that shit. She was down with my auntie. Like a lot of shit. Even though he was young, Nardo was understanding to their situation. Your mom gets out of jail, you're living with her. It, how was the living then? Was you was you back on y'all money shit or was yeah, it struggling? Nah, nah. It was real. Like I I it was like bad. Like and she but she'll make it like try to seem good, but it was bad. Like mom was an OG though. No matter how low she got, she never let pride get in the way of getting them necessities like something to eat or borrowing two dollars for gas. My mom had to do shit like one time like, to get gas, she had to go and ask the store clerk for two dollars, like borrow two, two dollars from the store clerk to get gas. Damn, this shit it's crazy. Was not real, son, real. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was like, oh my God, it was, it was at the house, my mom, we didn't have no money, like zero dollars. She ordered food with no money. People got that she had that like she couldn't find her money and just gave it to her for free. She was thugging it out, Shit, not reverting back cold, to her man. old ways to get paper. In his teens, Nardo was already in the streets grinding to secure the bag. He had already started doing illegal activity, so by the time he was really getting into the streets, he was a young veteran. His skills as a football player was left in the past because Nardo wasn't about to be waiting to blow. He wanted to chase his dreams of being a rapper, and he was about to do it by any means necessary. You was playing football, right? I think, yeah. I think so. You was playing football? It was like high school? Nah, I played high school. I played part one. Like okay. Stop when I was like 14, 15. Okay. Why you stop? Okay, I feel like it would take too long. Still, he stuck through and finished high school to fulfill his mom's wish of seeing him graduate. 
He really kept it real for his moms with that promise because he was kicked out of his first high school for skipping class and bad grades, but went to a second school and made his moms proud. From there, the natural order of things for the average kid is either college or maybe save up some money to further education or fund their career. Bernardo always looked at work like a cage. It was torment to have to plan your life around the rules and times of somebody else. You say you never had a job, you feel like that shit torture. Yeah. What you mean? Um, I just feel like it's totally like you gotta wake up at a certain time. You gotta be there. Somebody like jail, you gotta answer to a nigga. Like, go I feel what that nigga saying though, for it. real. Yeah. As far as Nardo saw it, he could hit a lick and make some quicker money. Shit, and that's man. exactly what he was doing. Nardo became a seasoned street cat learning from his big bro and was out terrorizing the city and catching smoke from his ops. I was doing everything with my big brother. Everything. Okay. Like, he, he was telling me everything. Like he taught me. Like I ain't know what no ski mask or nothing. I used to wear my shirt. Like. If, like, it was one time, like, I ain't had no gloves. He told me to take my, my shoes off her and put my socks on. You feel me? Like, that's how he taught me everything before street shit, like, everything. Eventually, his mom's caught on to his shenanigans when she got suspicious and checked his phone while he was sleeping. Nardo had to experience his mom's breaking down and crying, realizing he'd been robbing, stealing, and doing everything under the sun in the streets. Here's when many kids' conscience would kick in, but not Nardo. He was a hustler. And the sad part is that he learned it from his mom's and his pops, and now she's crying because she knows the dangers of the lifestyle her son was living. And that's it's tough. Crazy. Sure enough, the law eventually caught up on him. He nearly lost it all when he hit a lick with his homies and the person called the cops. But by the grace of God, he dodged on serious time because the cops didn't find the strap hitting in the whip. Instead, he got charged with petty theft. Right. So they never found the gun that you hit in the air conditioning? No. Nah. Wow, that's 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 crazy. I would have got, so, got robbery. Yo, that's a good thing that shit didn't happen, man. Because, you know, robbery, that's... That's, yeah, yeah. that's 10, 15 years. Now, if you ain't stopped when your mother was crying about your lifestyle, then for sure your conscience might kick in after coming so close to losing your freedom or at least slowing down. Nardo has an iron will for the street life, though. Bro was unfazed and kept going. It wasn't that he didn't care, more like he always wanted to rap in the streets was his only way to fund that path. Through all this, him and his mom were still going through it, and he even had to sleep on the floor. That didn't stop the kid, though. One she thing crazy. he had was heart. He was passionate about his rap dreams and went for it. Since a kid, he was rocking with cats like Gucci, Future, T.I., Wheezy, Eminem, right up to the new wave of artists like Yak and YB. Like, you know, like listen to what my dad and them listen to, like Gucci, old Future, like the astronaut status, but the old Future, well, T.I., like Lil Wayne, Eminem, and then when I got old, I started listening to my own shit. Like 14, young boy, Kodak. He started hitting the studio recording tracks, but Nardo's confidence in the booth wasn't up and it showed in his tracks. That just started to boost his grind to keep continuing to practice, and he found his voice and believed in himself. Luckily, he had parents who believed in him as well. His moms became his manager. With having your mom as your manager, does that kind of take a load off of you about having to try to worry about like somebody like getting over on you or you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. not handling your business because you know like this is my mom and she's not gonna let anybody help her. It's so man, she do more than just manage, she do everything. She's my mother. And his pops quit dealing That's your fire. His That's your fire, like how you made your mama hit manager, like after all the shit they been through, you know what I'm saying? That shit dope as fuck. Handling your business because you know like this is my mom and she's she not gonna let anybody it's so and she do more than just manage she do everything and his pops quit dealing and dedicated his time to supporting nardo when he found out that he could rap he bought a 40 dollar mic for bro and every paycheck worked on getting him a home studio his hey, pops five. went even farther for his That's son little, and bro. became self-taught on how to engineer songs off of youtube tutorials and over time perfected the craft to where nardo didn't have to go to a studio but just record at home that's some real love and support Man, and a lot bro. of parents don't do that for their parents kids don't do this it shit, even bro. more than nardo especially after he asked other family members for help to finance his career and close to no one would help out. And I guarantee you that they asking him for money now though. I text to the group, I told my daddy like text to the group chat, put everybody in the group chat and test them. I only want a hundred dollars from everybody. One hundred dollars out of all these thousand y'all from me get from income tax. Just one hundred. Feel me? And I, I make sure y'all scrape whenever that's time. Only out of all, like out of down to all them people in my family, I got income tax money. I got ten, five thousand dollars. 
only two people gave me them hundred dollars. As Nardo got older, crazy, his mindset bro. brought him closer to achieving his dreams. He realized that in trying to come up and chase his career path, he was pulling innocent people down, taking what they had worked for. And he decided if he was going to make it in rap, then he'll let go of the streets. At age 17, he made the decision to put all of his attention to music. The only way to rap shit ain't going to pop if I if I stop doing what I'm doing. Like, I feel like shit just was never going to pop if I'm doing what I was doing. The funny thing is, his I breakout really track that put him on the map along with future releases was recorded at home with his pops. So you were recording from the crib down there? Yeah, like, you know, smoke, not, not. Slide, shit, any song I got out right now, that was from house. The track that was called Who Want Smoke? Nardo, having taken the time to do what many rappers fail to do, study the business and marketing end of the that game, pushed the song fuck, through bro. different avenues. He thought this through because he knew that he had a banger. Nardo even scrapped the first music video and redid it, taking out the amount of straps that were in the video as to not have any issues with the vid when it was public. You shot that video twice, is that right? Yeah, I you know. Yeah, you see, you see, yeah, I shot it twice. Yeah. First time, too many guns. Too many guns. Yeah. The track was tearing up the clubs, the streets, people's houses, TikTok. The catchy stomp and energy Nardo brought on the song was a street anthem. Mainstream artists like Herbo, Dirk, and Lil Baby was even vibing with the track, putting the youngin' even more on the map. Nardo was lit, but he was about to break the internet with the mega remix with a superstar cast of Dirk, Herbo, and 21 Savage. It was Nardo's time. Five, His moms cool. told him it was finna happen when he was dead broke to keep pushing, and her intuition was right. Nardo went from being a hood savage trying to support the fam and his dreams to being on major film soundtracks. Placing top 20 on the charts, torn with big names and having the crowd shouting out every word to his songs. Bro was up and the fame was stuck. Nardo dropped banger after banger like Shush and that joint Knock Knock. And it was all leading up to his album, Who Was Nardo Wick, which dropped in December 2001. The project was released under the record label RCA, who signed the rising superstar. So, did you sign? There's been rumors that you signed. Yeah, I signed. RCA. RCA. Nardo had next, but that always come with unwanted drama and problems in the rap game, especially if your past was wrapped up in the streets. First, a shorty Nardo was laying pipe to tried to expose the rapper for clout while bro was sleeping. Lame it for it, bro. Lame it for it, don't know how to just so go along. Up, Gotta be seen. These type of women see you as a come up for their 15 minutes of fame. After that, Nardo left fans worried with his career was over when video footage surfaced from 2021 of U.S. Marshals having Nardo on the road handcuffed like a most wanted criminal. Reports later updated the situation saying Nardo was arrested on charges for a concealed weapon. Luckily, fans got news that they could rest easy as charges against Nardo were dropped. On an interview with Big Facts, he broke down what happened, saying they came for his bro on suspicion of a hit and found the strap that Nardo had in a bag with his jewelry and stuff. But they performed an illegal search on him because that's not what they were there for. I picked my brother up for murder, but they was, they was coming for him. Uh -huh. But we was all, we was leaving the hotel, we was finna come to Atlanta, we were getting in the car with our bag. Mm -hmm. And they all hot out on us. But it was only for him, so they weren't even supposed to put me in. Right, but they ended up putting you in cuffs, putting you in the ground, all that they shit. They was only supposed to put with him. Oh. And then, like, I had a bag, like a fetus, I had a bag with me, and there was a gun in the bag. Mm -hmm. And all my jewelry and shit was in the bag. And like, when they came, I dropped it. And they seen the bag and shit, and they took, they lost everybody up, but. Nardo dodged a bullet and has since been back climbed higher in the rap ladder. With his success, rumors started circulating that him and YB had been beefing. AK came forward to expose the label for trying to start rumors to fat in their pockets. These labels are always pushing artists to beef and drum up attention, That's not almost realizing they went with the dude's lives. Exactly, the label has man. paid for multiple Lame shit, shit. that's going up on my page, and I've even made pushbacks on like yo y'all are promoting this guy through beat i said it now here's the thing you see everybody will jump at that the label that's trying to really and by the way but he signed the label the label that's trying to profit off of his song his music his beefs because keep in mind when he makes a million they make 10. since nardo came into the game he's she been said. just keeping to his lane and that's the vibe he be on so that rumor attempt that the label had died down without anything picking up steam hip-hop basically saved nardo's life from the path he was going down he used to picture and imagine the money the flex 
until it became a reality. He manifested it no matter how hard it was to accomplish. I got my teeth now. Mm -hmm. I used to take pictures in the mirror like this with nothing in my mouth, but I knew I was not get it. I took a picture <laughs> like this with nothing in my hand. What about like shit in my phone? I gotta get my phone. Yeah. Now I got to do everything. Oh, shit God. crazy real, yeah. everyone that doubted him all the teachers that clowned him in front of his moms for having dreams of being rich i hope they see bro up now and winning nardo is still stepping his game up expanding in business and has a goal of reuniting jacksonville bringing artists together for a show what you think you're using the rap as a as a um as a vehicle too though because i'm sure there's other shit you want to do like i don't know business yeah. shit like, whatever. Do you invest or anything i got one airbnb i want I'm trying to find the right. right, like once some shit hit, pick up, I'm gonna do that. I don't know about that cryptocurrency shit too. Bro got a bright future ahead in this game, and I hope he stays on the right path and keep leveling up, and I hope that nobody tries to test his gangster, because the streets is a part of him just as much as hip hop. So there you have it. Thanks for kicking shit it five. with your boy. Appreciate shit the five, love bro. and support. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you think about Nardo Wick. I'll catch you when I spin back around for the next vid. And until then, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all. Shit, five foot, man. Shout out Nardo. How old is Nardo week? Damn, bro, 21? And he just turned 21, too. Nigga just turned 21 on the 30th. That's a couple days ago. About a week or so ago, nigga just turned 21. Damn, that nigga young as fuck, bro. I said that nigga young as fuck. Like, I'm so much older than him. I'm only like two years older than him. But that shit is crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, man, that was the Nardo Week story, man. That shit crazy as fuck, bro. How nigga went from nothing. Like, he said, like, his mama and, like, ordering food and shit. And they had to fake like she had to find money when really they ain't have none. To now, like, nigga just motion out the ass like nigga having it so like that shit crazy as fuck bro um let me know y'all fuck with the video uh down below man that was a pretty long video so um we're gonna end it right here man like comment subscribe man i'm gonna leave my links to my um instagram twitter all that man dm me let me know what else y'all want to see or like what type of video comment down below what type of video y'all want to see man i appreciate y'all man and we out peace